What? Lady. The? Uh, lady bat hat. At the? Seaside. What's the ladybird heard at the seaside by Julia Donaldson and Lydia Monks? 1 July. Next week is July. When the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. Can you see the ladybird? Where is the ladybird? Yes. yes. She spread her wings in the summer breeze and flew over the farms and fields and trees. Can you see the cow in the farm? No. Two? Here, right here, two cows with the cowboy. One is mommy and one is baby. Yes, it is. I see the mommy have so many milk in tummy. Till at last she came to the deep salt sea. Oh, the mermaid? Yes, the mermaids in the deep salt sea. And we see the kids, they are playing the beach. And we have the hot air balloon and the captain is sailing boats. And the sea lion roared and the seagull stricken. The mermaid sank and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's great tail makes a mighty splash. The dogfish bark and the catfish purred. But the ladybird, she never said a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw something and she heard something. What is that? She saw two bad men in a camper van with a screaming truck and a cunning plan. They were healthy huge and lanky land. Which one is healthy huge and which one is lanky land? I think it's a tall with trunk. Tall with trunk, he is healthy huge or lanky land? You don't know. After the rain, I see the rainbow. Said Lanky Land to Healthy Huge. Hey, I will tell you what we are going to do. <laughs> we have some bad idea. We will lie in wait until it's 12 o'clock. Then out we will swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long. She calm it while she sings her song. But when it is night and she is fast asleep, then we tip tiptoe onto her rock we creep and we snip 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 we will cut that hair so very long and very fair we're going to cut the mermaid's hair tonight said healthy huge to Langland. we will make a lovely wig and then we'll sell it to a famous star what brilliant brainy book we are we sell the mermaid's hair and then we make a lot of money. See, we are hunting the money. Have twenty money. Wow, the mermaid's hair will soon grow back, enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on doing it forever. We will cut it again. We have hit on something really clever. The little sporty lady bird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the animals what she heard. Hey animals and mermaid, come, I have something to tell you. Two bad guys has a really really terrible plan. They are going to cut your hair tonight. Then the sea lion roared and the seagulls stricken. The mermaids wail and the dolphins swickered. The crabs went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail makes a mighty splash And the fish declare That's wake up pair! We can't let them steal the mermaid's hair But the ladybird had a good idea And she whispered it into everywhere She tell the sea lions And the sea goose And the mermaids, the dolphin, the crab, the shark, the whales And two fishes then the seagull gave a joyful shriek and he fetched some seaweed in his beak. What? Seaweed? And as the sky was turning red, he dropped up it onto the lion's head. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion climbed on the whale's hump back. He put some seaweed on the sea lion's head. Why? Why she need to do that? Look, 
Who is the mermaid? There are two mermaids. One is under the water, one is on the rock. Who is the one on the rock? It's the sea lion with the seaweed hair. Yes, you're right. But the two bad guys, they don't know about it. When the clock struck 12, it's 12 o'clock and the two bad men, healthy, huge and lanky lamb, flip, flap, flip, flap, down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark, but they laughed with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said huge. We can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Lamb and Frog. The singing stopped. They took a beep, said Huge. I think she's gone to sleep, and it's time for us to cut her hair. Up they climbed it with their big brown sack onto the whale's enormous back. And snip, snip, snip. They started snipping. This hair, said Huge, is damp and dripping with the water. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Why is it so difficult to cut the mermaid's hair? What's happening? Help! cried Huge. This rock is heavy. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, that, Wait, wait, just one more snip, just wait. Then the whale's great tail gave a great big flip. Ouch! The thief fell into the water. And Huge said, Oh my god, what's wrong with my toes and feet? As the shark bites a flippers and the crab pink, Ouch! They swam for help their lives and they ran all the way back to their camper van. Oh, said Huge. We have had a scare, but at least we've got the mermaid's hair. So when they opened up the sack, what did they see in the bag? Mm. Oh my god, it's not mermaid's hair. What is that? It's full of the seaweed, shouted Len. We are tricked again, <laughs> said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull stricken. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's great tail makes a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred. But the ladybird, she... Never say a word. The end.